Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta always do that? Hi guys! Welcome to our Subtle Kylo Finance channel. And today, in some investment finance news, we're going to touch base on the different things. One of them is uh, there is a, a Chinese company. Um, okay, wait, wait. Before you get okay. into that, um, leave a like, subscribe, okay, guys. Um, and this channel is about how we will hopefully become financially independent. <laughs> our channel was made for you uh, <laughs> to share with you our financial like planning and goals and make you a part of our journey and hopefully you'll learn something from us and we can learn something from you and this way we can grow together. We talk about a lot of things in this channel, uh, some investment strategies that we use, uh, some stocks that we recommend. Like last time we talked about um, the Gilead stock um, yeah. and it turned out that the Gilead stock had uh, one of... Gilead stock is one of the stocks where we, uh, you know, seen, has seen potential like 15% uh, yeah, bullish, very <laughs> bullish in Gilead. Uh, has seen a 15% uh, increase uh, since the last week. We're kind of proud of uh, us being able to predict a little bit of a trend uh, before it happened. So, but in other news, uh, we also will make a video on the certain things that you have to, on the mistakes you have to avoid when you uh, invest in a stock. And that will be coming up in the next video. Stay tuned. Uh, right now, I'm gonna put up on screen, this is our Schwab account right now. And as you can see, we're going to do this possibly weekly. Uh, we're going to talk about how much we raised or how much we lost and we're just going to be transparent about it. So anyway, today we are 5,593 um, and wait a minute, that's my total. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I kind of messed up here, guys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, so yeah, well, unfortunate that, that it does the whole thing, but anyway, we're actually 5,155, 56, I guess, um, in account value. And as you can see, we have a decent amount of stocks. So um, this week so far, today's Monday, we sold Johnson & Johnson and we sold Nike stocks because I think, uh, well, because of this, as you can see, the price change, um, it is now negative. Okay, the stocks have went down. Uh, the S and P five hundred is now negative one point seventy nine percent, and I think it's going to continue being like that for the rest of the week. Uh, but the good thing is that we did make money on Johnson and Johnson and Nike, so it's not like we we sold without uh without any any gains, and we still have some gains on Gilead and um, Pepsi and Tesla, of course. Everything else, you know, if I'm going to sell any more, it's going to be Tesla, or it's going to be Pepsi, or it's going to be Gilead. Well, okay, fine. I'm not going to sell Gilead. <laughs> Did I just... <laughs> it was bad a little bit? Yeah, why are, you still, why are we selling Gilead? Because I think everything's going to fall. Well, I, I want to hold on to Gilead. I don't care. And Tesla too, maybe. Okay, fine. We'll hold on to Gilead. I don't think about Tesla, but we'll see. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And everything else, like, we have kind of like no choice but to hold. In a way, like, yeah, we're going to lose money. We're going to lose more, but it's fine. It'll come back up, like, in five years, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll come back. Other than that, we have some ETFs. We got the FTC and we got IBB and Book. Um, of course, these are down except for IBB because thank God for Gilead. But um, overall, we're pretty bad. But we're going to continue putting in money. And hopefully, when this crash happens, then... We'll start putting in money and then it'll start slowly going back up or maybe rapidly going up like a V-shape, you know? Uh, hopefully, you know, this pandemic ends before things get even worse, right? And the news, you know, Gilead has put the S&P 500 up a bit, but that didn't help too much because now oil prices are down today on Crashing. Monday by a lot. Yeah. Crude oil is down a lot. So actually, we could take a look at that. Uh, well, I think that's going to be, uh, th the oil prices went down earlier in the month, 
Um, so this is even more, uh, it's in the negative marks. Uh, so that would be very um, potentially, I think, affecting the countries that produce the oil and have like oil production as their main uh, business. So I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so right now, take a uh, look at the futures for crude oil right here. I wonder if it'll show that. But anyway, it's uh, kind of up right now, so that's good, I guess. And yeah, it's interesting. It's up. Like, natural gas. Yes. Natural gas is bad, but that's different. But the reason why crude oil went down so harshly is because nobody is driving. Nobody needs oil right now. Like, they have so much oil, they don't even know, like, where to put it. And nobody's buying it right now because nobody really needs it that yeah. much. Yeah, uh, airlines are exactly. grounded, airlines. yeah. People aren't driving anywhere, really. People aren't going to work every day or anything like that. So, you know, these oil... And, and also, like, you know, before they couldn't find an agreement to, like, pump out how much oil and then everything's cheap and then... Everybody buying up the cheap oil and they were like, oh snap, we bought too much cheap oil, like, what do we do with this? Oh, I don't know, we, you know, we can't buy anymore. So what's the point of um, taking out more oil, right? So oil, like, plummeted and now it's like, oh, well, it's good to buy, but if you have, like, a barrel in your backyard or something, just put, like, oil in there, that's pretty much free. I mean, that would be good and then, you know, later sell it, I guess, I don't know, but anyway. That's where we're at. <clears throat> Let's see, in other news, so that, I think that'll like keep keep the market going down. Uh, so we we're gonna, market. yes, we will make another video on the, the mistakes they have to avoid while investing. Uh, and that was inspired by a recent news as well. Uh, recent news and the documentary that we've seen recently. Um, so the re in the recent news, the company uh, called Lucky, Luckin, uh, China, Luckin, no, right? It's like coffee, Lucky, Luckin is we here. Luckin Coffee, China. So supposedly. Competitor to Starbucks. Uh, yeah, it's like a Chinese Starbucks basically uh, in China. So supposedly they uh, started trading publicly uh, in U.S. probably via reverse. Uh, like merging like the offshore companies so anyways they have reported a uh, three like 450 million dollar uh, revenue or like uh, supposedly the truth came out recently that they they were really short by they, they lied by 350 million dollars so and when they were asked on, of what happened they just said they, they just you know they would uh, they made a mistake but this is a huge mistake to make. Three hundred fifty million dollars. It's a. Uh, it's. Uh, it's not like it's double their revenue. Like even more. Yeah, and apparently that's a a, a trend with uh, Chinese some Chinese companies that trade publicly in U.S. They uh, do uh, cover up their uh, the real numbers uh, in terms of revenue and uh, uh, everything else. So. You just have to be careful when you invest in, in those things. So, And for that, uh, we'll make another video uh, talking about the balance, how to read the balance sheets and... Uh, well, I don't yeah, know if it's... Maybe what, determine yeah. whether these uh, numbers are real or not. But we'll, we'll talk about each of the stocks. Apple, of course we're investing in Apple. We think they're going to do okay. Um, Even Apple. though J.P. Morgan <clears throat> said that there might... The Apple's... The, iPhones will be cheap and they drop their stock a little bit there. Did you in the recent news? Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, you know, but also Apple did uh, announce their uh, iPhone SE and we talked about that in a previous video and that's why we think that Apple is going to continue expanding regardless uh, because Samsung and their other competitor Huawei, uh, they don't compete with uh, Apple. They're doing too much. <clears throat> Apple still winning. And that's just facts. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, Carnival Cruise is the other stock that we are investing in. I'm just hoping for this stock to get out of this okay. I mean, they have the best balance sheet in all of the cruise industries. We talked about this in another video, so... 
you know, you know, look look around in our channel to check out our other videos. We talked about this and Delta. We talked about these um, airline companies too. Gilead Science is one of the top ten um, uh, top ten stocks that we um, think that are going to continue doing well in the upcoming year, hopefully. Johnson and Johnson, yeah, we sold that Nike, we sold that, but we're we'll we'll buy Nike again soon. We don't like Johnson and Johnson as a company, but you know if it makes us money, it makes us money, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, PepsiCo, we're gonna continue buying. Uh, it's good dividends. I think we'll keep it, even though it's definitely gonna go down in price when the earnings call come this week. There's a lot of earnings call happening. Actually, we could talk about that in a second. After I go through some of these stocks that we have, Tesla, yeah, we love Tesla, we love Elon Musk, yeah. V for Visa, um, Visa, you know, what can I say? They have like a great track record, they're always going up, hopefully they continue. I'm still gonna buy them as they continue going down at the moment, but still gonna buy them. Uh, Walgreens, I think they're doing good, they're open. Disney. Uh, Disney Plus, we have Disney Plus. I like Disney. Disneyland is uh, apparently, uh, so, well, doesn't have like any people in, so they're probably losing some money as well. Um, but overall, it's, it's temporarily, it sh they should be up. So this week, a lot of companies will uh, announce their earnings for the last quarter. And obviously, uh, a lot of companies lost money. Um, the hospitality business, the entertainment, um, restaurant businesses, gaming, uh, the casinos, um, you name it. So many businesses were affected. So many people lost their jobs, unfortunately. And hopefully this is just a temporary uh, thing, but who knows, some companies do go out of business. And I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Okay, so today is Monday, guys. So IBM just had their earnings call. And they are now down, um, they went down in revenue. Okay, so, yep, that's um, probably going to be bad for their uh, market. Um, and then there's these other companies for today. Equifax, um, they didn't um, exceed their earnings, but, you know, they're still good, I guess you could say. The ones that like we're looking forward to, let's see what's going on on Tuesday. Tuesday. We got Lockheed Martin, I'm kind of excited to see what happens there. Coca-Cola, we'll kind of say what Pepsi's going to go through, so... So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, Sick Group, interesting to see there too. Alright, Wednesday. Now Wednesday. This, yeah, as each day progresses, it gets more and more interesting. Delta, that's one of our stocks. We're uh, kind of um, scared to see, hopefully... Uh, you know, this is correct, and uh, not worse than it is. AT&T, you know, they will see about that. Biogen kind of will see what happens to Gilead, in a way. Domino Pizza, we'll kind of talk about how the rest of the restaurants are kind of doing. Uh, South Southwest, you know, at this point, you know, Delta, we already know, right? Like, how bad everything got, everybody's going through. That's cool. That's cool for Thursday now. Friday. <clears throat> American Express, interesting. Verizon, but we have at and I think if you have at and you're kind of more like, oh snap, that Verizon, and you kind of see what's going to happen. Um, let's see what else. At some point, Netflix is um, going to show their earnings, but I have no idea when. I think it was on Thursday. Did I miss that? Anyway, whenever Netflix comes out, did they get postponed? That happens sometimes, I guess. Let's go back to the website, to the homepage, I guess. It's it's an Netflix there somewhere. Right here. What is Netflix? Four twenty one. That's tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow is Netflix. Uh, this one I'm kind of excited to see what happens because this will determine Disney Plus. I mean Disney. Well, yeah, Disney Plus. But not entirely Disney. And Netflix has been doing really good from all this craziness. So, you know, they're expecting some big, big earnings. 
<clears throat> you know, we're gonna do this weekly. We'll see um, how this goes. Hopefully next week, you know, we do better than good, uh, better than bad. Uh, well, we kind of expect that we're gonna do bad, actually. But we'll we'll see if we can minimize the the badness. I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, we don't really short, and we don't we're really like long term investor investors. But right now, because everything's going so crazy, you know, we're kind of selling some stocks around. So trying a different approach here. You know, trying to time the market a little bit, but we're timing the market to buy mostly. I would say. So anyway, that's it. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. You know. Check out our other videos, you know, we talked about the other videos, so you should check that out. And, um, yeah. Peace. Cool.